Hey everyone, welcome to Play Hooky with me. My name is Roz and in today's video I'm going to share how to make this cute little heart-shaped bookmark using a paper clip. This can be done with either a crochet hook or your fingers and I'll show both versions in the video. For this project you'll need some jumbo sized paper clips and yarn. You can really use whatever you like but I found a cotton worked really well in a lightweight sport weight size. If you want to work very tiny, I would recommend a cotton thread for this and using the finger or tapestry needle version at the end of the video. And as far as the crochet hook size, I use anything from a 2.2 to a 3 millimeter. All of those work really well with this paper clip size. To make our little heart shape, we want to focus on this long stretch of metal right here. This is where we're going to bend it to make that heart shape. Ultimately, you want this rounded piece and this little tip here to be in the back of your heart. But if it doesn't work that way when you make it, that's okay. We can manipulate it later. Now I got very lucky. The two tips are in the back like I want them to be. This is the portion that we're going to be crocheting around. But if one of the pieces ended up in the front, you can push it to the back with your finger. To get started, add a slip knot to your hook. I'm going to be working into the right side of the heart. Now if you're left-handed, then I would recommend that you start on the left because what we're going to be doing is creating single crochets that are going to feed all the way around this heart shape. So to get started, go into the center of your paper clip, pull your yarn through, and create a single crochet around the tip of your paper clip. Before you continue, be sure that this is bent back a little bit because if you're not careful, your yarn is going to snag on this point. Continue with single crochets. One thing you can do, and it's totally optional, is you can put a little single crochet that goes into this little intersection here. And then at this point I snip and I feed the yarn through to fasten off. Then I tie the two sides together and at this point you can double knot and snip and add a little bit of fabric glue or you can feed the yarn into the back of the stitches. To work this technique, you can do it either with your fingers or with a little tapestry needle. For this demonstration, I am going to use the tapestry needle. I enjoy it more, but you definitely don't need to use it. For this version, you are going to have to snip off some yarn. I would recommend at least a yard. And instead of working on the right side like we did with the crochet version, I recommend that you start on the left. We're going to be feeding the stitches around just like we were with the crochet version. I'm going to add a little tie just to anchor this down. If you don't like the look of this knot when you're finished, you can certainly untie it. Now for this technique, we're just going to be making little ties from the back of the paper clip and then into the front. So back, front, back, front, all the way around. So to do this, just pull your yarn through. And now we're going to go back in into the middle of the loop to create our tie. And now we're going to alternate and go into the front. So going through the paper clip, make sure that your tapestry needle or your fingers are coming through both sides. So you're going into the loop and thread it through. So we just went from the front. Now we go from the back, come through, going into the center. Now I'm just going to keep alternating this back and forth.
this point you can stop or you can do a little stitch right into this intersection here if you like. I'm on a back stitch, so I'm going to go through the back. I'm just going to double knot this. This isn't as easy to feed into the back of the stitches like it is with the crochet. So for this method, I just do a very tight double knot. And then at this point, I snip very closely. And then you can add a dab of fabric glue or Elmer's glue to just hold things in place if you like. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Likes are always appreciated. See you next time.